Hey guys, it's Paradise, and if you're as hyped as we are for Death Stranding 2, then you don't want to miss this. Today we're breaking down everything you need to know about Hideo Kojima's epic new sequel, and quite frankly, it's looking jaw-dropping with its very creepy trailers, and you definitely don't want to miss out on seeing Troy Baker fight a giant robot baby giggling samurai with a guitar that shoots lightning and doubles as a kind of laser axe. The new story is looking pretty crazy, the game itself is looking gorgeous on multiple fronts, and we're going to go through everything that you're going to want to know. So stick around because there's a few intriguing things to find out. Drop a like and comment below if you enjoy the video, and it's good to know that Death Stranding 2 is set to be released in 2025, although the exact date is still under wraps, but we can expect it to drop sometime next year on PlayStation 5, which was revealed in a previous PlayStation State of Play. It's possible there will be a PC release sometime after launch, similar to the first game, but for now it's a PlayStation exclusive. So far we've had two trailers giving us a glimpse into various returning and new characters. In the reveal trailer we got reintroduced to Fragile and what looks like Baby Lou, who now seems to be around two years old. Unfortunately though, their bunker gets attacked, leading to a dramatic escape, where Fragile eventually gets injured and crashes, and then what happens next isn't completely clear, but the messaging appears to be that Lou is either lost or dead, perhaps stolen by the attackers. We then jump to Sam and Fragile as they check out the new mech ship that will play a big role in the new game, and the trailer then concludes with a mysterious figure holding a guitar, who we know is actually Higgs from the first game, and then it cuts to Sam holding the BB tank, but this time there's some kind of octopus tentacle inside. Octopuses are often seen as symbols of intelligence, adaptability, and mystery. They can navigate complex environments and change their appearance, so this could symbolize Lou or perhaps BBs in general adapting to new challenges or having to go through some kind of transformation, and this could certainly tie into something we see at the end of the next trailer, which is called On the Beach. In this one, Fragile is operating on a tar-infected body alongside a new character. And then one of the things that really intrigued me is this BT cat with an octopus tentacle that licks up some tar. Throughout the trailer we get a better look inside of Fragile's mech ship and her organization, quite aptly named Drawbridge. Near the end of the trailer we get a proper look at our masked villain, who of course is Higgs and he's back again with a new look, and Sam has been caught by Higgs and his robot soldiers. Following on from Lou's disappearance in the last trailer, it seems that Sam doesn't know what happened and asks Higgs if he's killed Lou. This basically confirms that from Sam's point of view, he just doesn't know what's happened to Lou. Higgs then replies to him that he still doesn't know, implying that he didn't kill Lou and that perhaps something else entirely happened. Then we see the amazing robot samurai that giggles very similar to how Lou did or just a BB in general as it slays all of the robots with complete ease before taking on Higgs where he then starts shredding his guitar as it shoots lightning at the robot and then doubles into some kind of laser axe leading into an epic battle scene between the two. Furthermore, we have a crazy ending where Fragile, the new character, and Sab are investigating the tar-covered character, and seemingly the same character appears eavesdropping on them, as acted by Ellie Fanning, with these strings attached to her, which indicates this could be her soul and she may be stranded on the beach, hence the puppet-style strings. There's also speculation that this character could be a more grown-up Lou, but we just don't know yet, and I've even seen people saying that the robot samurai that's giggling similar to BB's could also be Lou. So there's a ton of mystery with these new trailers, but also some very interesting and thought-provoking story beats along the way. We know that Death Stranding 2 will once again have a very impressive cast, featuring of course Norman Reedus as Sam, who I absolutely love in everything he's in, but we also have Leah Sadu returning as Fragile, Troy Baker as Higgs, and newcomers Ellie Fanning, George Miller, and Shioli Katsuna. One of my favorite characters from the first Death Stranding though was Cliff, who was of course played by Mads Mikkelsen. It was fantastically acted, a great character, and just overall very well made. But that character's arc had pretty much concluded in the first game, so it's not looking like Mads Mikkelsen will be making a return in Death Stranding 2. 
While Death Stranding 2's story does remain mostly a mystery, it definitely builds on the themes of isolation and connection, very similar to the first game. We see Sam exploring diverse landscapes, using new vehicles, and interacting with his new talking puppet companion that has a very cool low frame rate effect in his movements. The gameplay looks to expand on the original game's mechanics with the inclusion of new biomes, meaning we can expect more treacherous terrains including things like landslides and even flash floods that we actually got to see in the trailer. Of course we can expect tougher enemies, and the gameplay this time is possibly shifting focus slightly more towards the action. On top of the actual biomes and environments though, we can actually expect these areas to be larger and more detailed, which will be very interesting to see how these new areas and biomes look, as I think we've only seen a few of them so far. It's good to remember that Kojima actually scrapped the original storyline of this sequel after the pandemic hit, as he effectively completely rewrote it, now having first-hand experience with the isolation and uncertainty that came with that period of time. So we can expect themes of connection and separation to be even more pronounced in the sequel. The game itself is looking visually fantastic, and it's really pushing the boundaries, and this is because it's being powered by the Decima engine. This is best known for its high visual fidelity and high dynamic range of lighting. You may have experienced this engine before if you've played Horizon Zero Dawn or Horizon Forbidden West. So while a lot is still a mystery, one thing is clear. This Death Stranding is likely bigger, better looking, and even more crazy than the last one. Kojima has definitely been cooking with this, and we can't wait to see how it all comes together. But are you excited for these new or returning characters and plot twists? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more updates for your favourite games coming soon.